Aloha Kauai. This is your County of Kauai briefing for Monday, August 23rd. A flash flood watch is in effect through tonight as the remnants of Tropical Cyclone Linda impacts the island chain. Please be prepared for hazardous weather and monitor local media for updates. The Kauai District Health Office reported our fifth death from COVID-19 on Friday. We extend our deepest condolences to the family, friends, and loved ones of this individual. It has been a painful month for many in our community. We carry in our hearts those we have lost as we continue our response and fight against this terrible disease. We are seeing increasing numbers of community-acquired infections on the island. The virus is circulating widely across the island. We don't need to wait for restrictions. We know what we need to do to flatten this curve. Each of us can make better choices to protect ourselves and others from COVID-19. Choose to stay home over going to that party or gathering. Choose to wear your mask in public. Choose to stay home if you're feeling sick and get tested. And above all else, get vaccinated if you can. For the latest on Koi's cases, we turn to Lauren Guest from the Koi District Health Office. Thank you, Mayor. Last Friday through Sunday, we reported 87 cases, including 16 children. Today, we are announcing 25 new cases, three visitors, and 22 residents. Of the 25 new cases, 22 are adults and three are children. All active cases are in isolation and close contacts are being identified, offered testing, and directed to quarantine. Investigations are ongoing. Today's cases bring the number of active cases to 194, with four hospitalized. Since the beginning of the pandemic, we have confirmed 1,115 cases on Kauai. Over the weekend, the Department of Health identified two new clusters in places of worship and one cluster associated with the social gathering. The individuals potentially exposed to those three clusters have been notified and advised to be tested and to quarantine if they are close contacts. If their exposure did not meet close contact criteria, they were advised of their potential exposure and recommended to seek testing. Health officials are also warning of potential exposure on the Koi'i bus. We urge anyone who rode Route 100 or 200 between Kekaha and Lihui during the afternoon or evenings of August 10th, 11th, or 12th to get tested because they may have been exposed to a confirmed case. In addition, anyone who attended an informal gathering fronting the historic county building on August 9th may have been exposed to a confirmed case and should get tested. COVID is widespread on our island. Please continue to do everything you can to minimize your risk of exposure by limiting your close contact with people outside of your immediate household, wearing your mask, and getting vaccinated if you haven't already. Thank you, Lauren. We are fortunate here on Kauai to have a robust free testing program. Free testing is available island-wide with results provided the same day. Get a free drive through test at the Lihui Pharmacy seven days a week from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. They are located on Colopa Street behind State Farm. Appointments are highly recommended, but walk-ins are welcome. For an appointment, visit preventcovidhi.com. Our free mobile testing van will be in Kikaha on Wednesday, Kilauea on Thursday, Kalaheo on Friday, Hanalei on Saturday, and Kapa'a on Sunday. Open from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. each day. No appointments needed. The Convention Hall offers free testing weekdays from 8 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. No appointments are needed. If you are experiencing symptoms, please avoid the Convention Hall site and get tested at one of the drive through options. Tests are also available at Wilcox, KVMH, Longs Kapa'a, and Clinical Labs. The full list of testing options is posted at koi.gov forward slash COVID tests. Thank you for getting tested to help slow the spread of this disease. Now it's time for Ask Dr. B with Koi District Health Officer, Dr. Janet Berriman. Dr. B, the first question is, a lot of people are asking for more details about the clusters. Questions like, which school, what kind of gathering, which business, what place of worship, what can we say about clusters? Thanks, Mayor. There's a lot of interest in clusters, especially with Kauai having clusters in educational settings, social gatherings, workplaces, and places of worship. And while the curiosity is understandable, the important feature of these clusters is not where they happened, but what people there were doing. It's very clear that clusters occur in settings in which the participants are not taking precautions to keep each other safe. Clusters happen when people spend prolonged time close together, indoors, with poor ventilation, without consistent masking, with people who are unvaccinated, 
and when some of those who participate are symptomatic. The more of these risks there are at one time and one place, the more likely it is that a cluster will occur. We can quite safely go to school, gather, work, and worship if we are all careful. That means wearing masks, keeping our distance, avoiding crowds, especially indoors in poorly ventilated places, staying home if we're sick, and being vaccinated. Clusters aren't about where we go, but about what we do. With so many active cases on the island now, is it causing delays with contact tracing? With more than 200 active cases, our team is busier than we've ever been. A big mahalo to the Hawaii National Guard for stepping up to assist us with the daily calls to monitor all of the cases. We've also hired additional temporary staff to assist with case investigations and contact tracing. Until this past week, we've been proud to successfully reach every newly detected case on Kauai, and generally within 24 hours of receiving positive results. But with this recent surge in cases, we are finding that increasingly, some people do not respond to our calls or decline to provide information. So for the first time, there are several cases every day that we are unable to investigate and unable to perform contact tracing because we're not able to obtain the information we need, putting all of us at risk. We do need your help. If you test positive, please isolate at home immediately and call your close contacts to let them know. There's no need to wait for us to call. And if we call or text you, please help us out by replying and doing your best to provide the information we request. Together, we can protect our community and bring this surge under control. We had some good news today as the U.S. Food and Drug Administration gave full approval to the Pfizer vaccine. Dr. B, what exactly does full approval mean and how did they reach that decision? The Pfizer vaccine has been approved for emergency use since December 2020. Now it has full approval for use at any time, just like all the other vaccines and medications that we use and take regularly. This means that the FDA has reviewed the extensive data about the vaccine's safety and effectiveness now that it has been given to hundreds of millions of people. For people who've been concerned about the emergency use authorization status, this is excellent news. If you've been waiting for full FDA approval, your wait is over. You can get your free Pfizer vaccine today at many locations island-wide. See kawaii.gov vaccine for details. While it is true that vaccinated people can still get infected, this happens at much lower rates than among unvaccinated folks, and their disease is much more mild. Getting a vaccine is kind of like wearing a seatbelt in a car. It's not a guarantee that you won't get injured, but you're a lot safer and much less likely to die with your seatbelt on. Thanks, Dr. B. Post your questions for Dr. B on our County of Kauai Facebook page, and we'll answer more next week. You can get vaccinated today for free. The Pfizer vaccine is available to everyone aged 12 and older at Wilcox, the Lihue Longs, and Lihue Safeway, and Ho'ola Lahui. A free pop-up clinic open to 12 and older will be held this Saturday, August 28, at the Kikaha Neighborhood Center from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. No appointments needed. The Moderna and Johnson & Johnson vaccines are also available for adults at pharmacies and clinics around the island. For a full list of locations, visit koi.gov forward slash vaccine. Mahalo for wearing your mask when indoors, wash your hands, keep your distance, avoid large gatherings, and of course, consider getting a vaccine. Mahalo for helping to keep Kauai safe.